Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the homestead. Whew. Little chilly last night, but it's a beautiful sunny day. It's gonna get up near 60, and old man winter's hanging on, but he's losing his grip because it's getting better every single day, and we need to get a lot done. And I actually have the equipment to get most of it done this week. So hopefully that's what's going to happen. Missy, Missy's already in the grow room. She's busy. But let me show you what happened, guys. Yesterday, I had to go up to Missouri to pick up a special piece of equipment. And let me show you what that is. Good morning. I'm up your day. Ah, here to pick up the tiller. Tiller? Yep. Lucky. Look at that. What do you think of that? But I also have another piece of equipment. Yeah, if you remember in our last video, I loaded up logs to go over to TM's. He lent us this tractor and uh, I'm providing him with logs. Look at what he sent over. Look at that, guys. Box blade. Box blade, that is going to smooth out my driveway. That's going to smooth out, oh. Is that Missy in the back of my truck? It is Missy. Hey, Missy. Hi. Let's go see what she's up to. Getting my peat moss. Getting the peat moss. Yeah, and so we the... can start more seeds. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you in there in a couple hours. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Oh. She's going to do her thing, guys, but yeah, box blade. That's going to smooth out my driveway. It's going to help smooth out my garden a little bit. Prep. Because these, these two greenhouses, they're getting moved. We're going to combine them together to make one and we're going to move them over there and that area needs to get prepped because instead of those being nursery greenhouses, Missy's actually going to grow in the ground in them and where they are, we're going to put some raised beds. But my morning project is right here, guys. See these four logs? If I can get those four logs onto the sawmill, I believe that will give us enough wood to finish our subfloor on the house build.
Not bad, guys. All my logs are gone. Mill's all cleaned up. Got a good pile. All right, I have 135 boards. I believe I only need 125, so that gives me 10 extra boards if there are any complications moving forward. Whew. Super happy. That project is done. I have the floorboards for our subfloor, but now that I'm done with that, let's go over and check on Missy. You guys don't get to see Missy much. If you've been following along, Missy took an off homestead job and she's going to work that a um, couple more months. And then I'm going to take an off homestead job and she's going to take over back here getting ready for farmers markets and work in the garden because uh, the world doesn't run on smiles and rainbows and sunshine. So we're doing what we have to do to keep the dream alive. But let's go in here and see how she's doing. Oh, wow. Look at guys. Look at all of the plant she has going here. Look at that. That looks amazing. Hi, Missy. Hi. How are you? All right. It's warm in here. It is warm in here. My yeah. plants need to stay warm for a while. Yeah. It's about 65 in here right now. Yeah, well, so. I'm all layered up because I was outside yeah. in the shade. But, um, how's it going? It's going good. I've gotten a bunch of stuff up potted and it's out in the greenhouse, our cold weather crops. Oh, cool. So broccoli and two different kinds of broccoli and what else did I put out there? I put out leeks and a bunch of lettuces and now I'm getting, I have a bunch of herbs that are coming up, but I'm getting Turn more. that light on so they can see your pretty face uh, better. I'm getting more planted, so I did basil, dill, cilantro, I have some Look bee it. balm. There's stuff coming catnip. up, guys. Yeah, that's the stuff that I'm getting ready to pull out. Because I have some... Over here I have basil that I pulled out because it's getting too big to be on the heat mat. And I don't want it yeah. to kill my roots. So I got some dill, and this is hyssop flower. But, nice. But over here I have peppers some beefsteak tomatoes and these are celosia flowers cool yeah then i've got my onions up here look at those guys yeah. you can barely see them but they're popping they are they're starting look, look to... at our red cabbage yeah wow that looks although i had to put some diatomaceous earth on them because i did find already oh no cabbage worms uh oh yeah yeah so Green cabbage and red cabbage. Cool. And down here I have some geraniums going. Cool. So, yeah. Wow. But I really need to up pot some of my cabbage and get it out to the greenhouse because oh. I need the space over here under the lights. Yeah. So they don't necessarily need heat mats, but I need lights. Yeah. So. Well, based on 72 oh, cell trays and look at my carrots. Those oh. will be going. Oh, those look at these guys. Side to the greenhouse too soon. Look so. at those carrots. That's just one bucket. Nice. And then I have over here sprouts on your sweet potatoes. Yep. Sweet potato slips going. Cool. Yeah. So what do you think we have right now? Probably I don't know. 1500 plants plants oh maybe even more maybe more because each tray that i did with little cells they hold 72 cells and there's so just there's, in here there's it's 10 there so yeah. that's 700 yeah there's another five over there so yeah pretty close plus there's a bunch out in the greenhouse too cool 
so all right can we take a walk through the greenhouse? no but we can let's go take a walk through the greenhouse all right all of the wood is milled up we yeah. have 135 boards we need um 125 so that gives us 10 extra awesome just in case so hopefully next weekend hopefully next weekend we'll be doing sub floor yeah that would be awesome guys yeah oh <laughs> All right, so I had to leave this open a little bit, but things are... Ooh! Yeah, things are pretty toasty in here. It's I like, need to bring my wood in here. It's like 90 degrees in here. <laughs> Look at guys, we got... So these are my leeks. Leeks? Those haven't oh. been up-potted yet, but here's one of the broccoli that have been up-potted. Another tray of broccoli that's been up-potted. Trying to preempt the cabbage worm. Yeah. Okay. These are prepped, waiting to go, but... Yeah, they are. I did the soil and I put some rabbit poo in there. What do you got here? This is leeks. Oh, nice. I did some buckets for ourselves. There's some lettuce, romaine, and lettuce head. And this is the stuff that is getting ready for market. That is some head have, lettuce? Yeah, we have head lettuce. We have mustard greens, we have romaine, um, down here is more leeks for sale. This is both broccolis, two different kinds of broccoli. Onion? And no, this is more leeks. More leeks. Yeah. And um, I just didn't mustard mark them green. Yet. This is a mix of mustard green head lettuce and romaine. Nice. This was my trial tray. To make sure everything to was working? To make sure that it was going to be okay to put outside and it's not too cold and no if been, anything it might be too hot they've been doing good yeah that's why i had that open i might want to roll open up the, the back thing. one get some air in but here the pots down here the pots that i overwintered my parsley did really well over yeah. the winter i have thyme lemon balm over here and i have two nice pots of oregano there's a little lemon balm plant there that's coming back. And I think I need to cut these back. Rosemary, they say that it'll come back, but I haven't, uh, seen, anything yet. Looks, I haven't seen any green. It looks kind of dead to me, but we're going to try. Well, I'm getting out of here. I'll go open that other door because whew, I am all bundled up, guys, for being out this morning and whew. It's pretty hot. Well, it's bright and early the next morning, guys. And although I have a bunch of stuff I want to get done here on the homestead, we're actually going to be taking off. You see, here, let me show you. You can see I've got, I've still got some moisture in the garden. So before I can till, I need to let that dry out for another day or two. And it's the same here on the driveway. But that's all right because we're gonna go do an off homestead project. If you guys have been following, you know my buddy Rich. Well, we're gonna head over to his place and he's got a little project he could use a hand with and i am more than happy to go help him out they've been so helpful to us and uh we want to return the favor and go over there when when he's needing me so we're gonna jump in the truck and head over there and see what he's got going on All right, what do we got going on? We're going to take all this rotten timber out of here and kind of slope this down. Oh. Or however it lands. Yeah, yeah. And and then get this loaded into the truck and 
out of here. All right. Well, that sounds like a good little morning project. <laughs> I'm going to throw you guys on time lapse and we're going to get it done. the next day guys that was a lot of fun helping rich those guys are such a blessing in our lives they really are the nicest folks and are always here to help us out with anything we need and it's our pleasure to uh, repay that favor but hey look who's here hi guys first thing in the morning yeah i had the morning off so yeah i'm here for a little while yeah we're gonna try and get uh some two-person um things done yeah and the first one see the gazebo well i think that we're done with snow yeah and freezing rain i mean everybody says this is a fall spring and we might get more cold but i don't think we're gonna get no the snow load to make it fall down so. no and um the weather apps are not predicting that kind of cold no. or anything like that yeah. so with our big weekend coming up this weekend guys take a look that's that it will hopefully be the last time you see that like that because I have all the boards for our subfloor sub floor all milled up. Yep. And we're gonna get those on the trailer, get them down here, and hopefully this weekend we can get the floor on our house. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, but with all those people coming, <laughs> we're gonna reset up the gazebo. Yeah. And uh, so everybody has a nice place to sit down and relax. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to set you guys up on time lapse. Hey, Bailey, you want a rug to lay on? Already. Barely approved. <laughs> Good boy. What do you think, Rocco? Good boy. You're gonna have to move though. You're gonna have to move while we put out the rug.
Do you approve? He's like, yay, a place for us to lay down. Oh, so awesome. Yeah. How about you, Bailey? Do you approve? Come here, buddy. Do you approve? You like it? Your little gazebo's back? Come here, Bailey. Come on. Watch out, Rocco. Come here, Bailey. Come on. There you go. Lay down. Bailey approved. Yeah, that's where he spends most of his day. Yeah, that'll be comfortable. <laughs> yeah, so nice. for the most part, it's in here, but I still want to get light. Yes. I know we... last year we talked about lights because it got so dark in here. Yeah. And I love doing um, our lives in here, so. Yeah, no, we'll definitely put a yeah. light in here. And uh, we can leave it open for now because yeah. there's no bugs really. And yeah, uh, we'll close it up tonight. Yeah, that'll work. All right, another project checked off, guys. All right. All right, guys, one of the things that we want to get done this weekend, you can see behind me the greenhouses over there. Those are going to get moved because we are going to switch from using them as nursery greenhouses to actually growing in them. Yeah. So Missy wants them turned going this way. And we're going to mark that out so I can till it and um, box blade it smooth yeah. and get it ready to go. All right. So. I can't even begin to tell you how happy I am with that. Not a lot of rocks. And look at this soil. <clears throat> look at that. Ah, oh, so happy. So what I'm gonna do now, and take you guys over here, I'll show you. Over here, I saved some of our compost that we've been building all year long right right here so I'm gonna get the gorilla cart over here and I'm gonna spread that on there and I'm just gonna leave that as uh, a top dressing on top of this because you can see see right here where it's in the Sun you can already see that this stuff is starting to dry out already so I want the whole thing to dry out, but I'm gonna put that compost on it and let that dry out and sit 
I don't think I need to come in with the box blade. Um, it's actually pretty level for what we wanted to do. I can see water's going to drain off the other way, drain off this way. I think it's going to be fine. And uh, we'll let that compost sit on top and then we'll cover that with ground fabric. That way when we move the greenhouses, she can just put holes in the ground fabric and grow right through there and there'll be no weeds in the greenhouse. What do you think guys? I think that's gonna work. It's got a decent layer of compost on it. I found some um, bramble weeds in my compost so I didn't dig too far in. I don't want to bring them over here. All right with that project done I'm gonna break away and I am going to go to town. I got some supplies to get but next time you see us I am going to be tilling this garden, so that's going to be a big day.